fucking bits. Make sure you stay in the trenches. Help keep our channel ad free by becoming a supporter over on Patreon and also scoring yourself some free miniature swag in the process. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Check out our site, spikybits.com, for all the hot hobby tutorials, news, rumors on all your favorite hobby topics. And head on over to longwar.net. That's the home of the battle reports for exclusive content, early access videos, and more. Become a veteran of the long war today. What's up, Hobby Maniacs? Ron Bear here today with a look at the new White Dwarf. This is issue 118, and it's uh, jam-packed with more H of Sigmar stuff. Coming in hot is the new Flesh Eater Quartz, which is basically a... Um, I guess it's kind of like an offshoot, one of those little faction kind of deals for the Forces of Death, you know, Nick Ash and all his bad boys. So it's kind of cool that they, they you know, they kept a lot of the uh, the old school models, you know, like the Terror Geist, they got the Crypt Ghouls, they renamed uh, these guys here. So I forget what they were because everything just kind of starts sounding the same after a while, to be, to be quite honest with Vampire Counts. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I used to know it all. I don't know it all anymore. Anyways, <laughs> all I do is drink and know things. That's it. And pet cats. So anyways, uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a great issue. I mean, if you're in the Age of Sigmar, there is the paint splatter in here from last week's uh, new, the uh, the Orc Waz Bomb Blasted Jet. So there's that. So there's a little bit of 40K content in here. But for the most part, you know, you're going to get a lot of the new, you know, the, all the new uh, Flesh Court models here. The Crit Flares. Like I said, I forget what their older name was. I'm sure it was something Geist. Um, Vargeist maybe? I forget. And then you got the, the new big badass Terrorgeist. There's the new Battle Tome that's coming out for him. Of course, they don't have a Forces of book because, you know, they're Forces of Death. You know, the big Nagash book that's already come out. So, it's basically a splash release kind of on the heels of, you know, hey, hey, Age of Sigmar's gonna get points, you know, yada, yada, yada. So, it's really cool to see, you know, the undead faction basically getting some love. But, you know, at the end of the day, we're still kind of, like, holding our breath to see how this whole, like, points thing works, you know, because um, I think that's what a lot of people are waiting on. I mean, I'm, I would like to play again. I, I have some, you know, I have a, a whole bunch of Age of Sigmar models, and I want to get them on the tabletop. Here you can see the new army boxes coming out as well for those guys, and the new uh, Beast Arises um, series, where it looks like the Iron Warriors are going to be helping out the uh, Imperial Fists, according to the preview here. And, then, of course, Space Wars upgrades already came out. And then it does a little battle report with these guys. You can see uh, uh, Jess there playing with, uh, looks like Duncan Rhodes. The dull set tones of Duncan Rhodes. I love painting by those. Anyway, so that's a great little battle report. And we'll jump over to the paint splatter here, which is, you know, we the Docajet Jet came out before they went to the, like the kind of weekly thing. But this is really cool to see. I like the details right here where they show you how to do this, like uh, this little barbershop effect. And then you got the flames and then some cool stuff here uh, for the force uh, the force field generator and then gets into some golden demon stuff but for the most part that's that's pretty much it be quite honest i mean it's probably one of those issues that you're kind of like eh, do i need to get it i don't know i mean if you're in the age of sigmar i think it's a must buy if you're in the orcs you know that pink guy's pretty dope but at the end of the day i don't know it might be a it might be a skip week you know if i didn't have to borrow them and review them every week for me personally and then next week's teaser is beware mortals a dark and terrible quest is about to begin obviously sounds like demon speak and then coupled with the uh the little teaser here all that silver uh glistens or something like that I forget i'm paraphrasing i'm paraphrasing all that glitters is silver that looks to be the rumored silver tower board game box set that's been rumored to be coming out that a lot of people were like, no, that doesn't exist. That's not a real thing. There's no Birdman and Zeech. There's no Zeech coming out. Blah, 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 blah. Well, it looks like it might be a real thing. And it might be coming out next week. So I guess we'll find out uh, here shortly. You know, come Monday, Tuesday morning when everybody's uh, everybody gets a white door for early and uh, starts posing it up online. I guess we'll see that. So uh, short and sweet, you know, not too much going on this week. But there is a whole lot going on with the new flyer release, the new uh, Death from the Sky uh, book or supplement as well as all the new 40k FAQs that just came out earlier in the week So there's a whole lot of stuff going on There's still plenty you know plenty to see plenty to do here on the channel So make sure you click on some more of those videos after you finish watching this Deleted scenes bonus content all the interviews and post game wrap-up videos can be located in the hall of veterans on the longwar.net 
Visit thelongword.net today and try a week completely free with no strings attached. That's not all. Thelongword.net is also your hobby resource for exclusive early access with an ad-free experience to all your favorite videos. Members of the Hall of Veterans gain early exclusive access to multiple hobby videos.